Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the Gerbil, and in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through tier one of the Jabba the Hutt Galactic Legend Unlock event. It's actually really simple, and I'll show you the mods I use on the two characters that are required, which is Gamorrean Guard and uh, Mob Enforcer. Now, the event is pretty simple. You're gonna go up against Bush Leia and Han Solo, who is blinded, so he is not much of a threat, which means that you need to engage Bush first take her down first. You're also going to be loaned Jabba the Hutt. So it's a 3v2 situation. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get in here. I'll show you my mods in just a second, but if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert, here it is. Cute little animation. Leia walks up, almost touches that button on the wall. I don't think the model's kind of connected there. We see the flashy flash flash, and then he falls down. Um, good job catching him to prevent a nosebleed. And okay, over there we've got uh, Bib Fortuna who's not in the game yet. So let's see how this goes. All right, so here's the thing. You pretty much want to open up each time you, each attempt with Jabba's mental ability. Not, not the Crumbs Revenge, which is going to throw some Boombas out there and do other stuff. But this one right here because, well, it, it inflicts speed down, which is nice. And then it gives your tanks, uh, your GAM guard, immunity to critical hits. Then in my situation, because of the modding, which are absolute crap mods, uh, Mob Enforcer went second, she throws a Boomba out, and then GAM guard taunts. From there on, it pretty much doesn't matter what you do. Uh, punch through, um, is, no, that, I don't know the name of it, but it's the middle ability. That's going to give him taunt and retribution and here I expended, experimented using Jabba's arm swing or Crumb's Boomba throw right the basic or the second special and it really didn't matter like it honestly just did not matter what what I do think is important is that you do try to stack up thermal detonators on Bush Leia uh, it seems that that's where the the majority of the damage is, output is going to come in this three person situation. So my first time through this, I'm reading the kits, trying to be a little bit more careful, a little methodical. And um, yeah, I don't think it mattered. Again, I'm going to show you my mods as soon as we get through this first one here. Uh, something that is worth noting though, Gamguard's second ability will remove all buffs from the opposing enemy. So whenever you notice Bush Leia starts to get like critical damage up, critical chance up or whatever, go ahead and use his special to cleanse her and then keep the bombs on her from either Crumb, AKA Jabba, or from Mob Enforcer. But then after that, I, I kind of suspect that the way to victory is just the basic. See Jabba's basic is going to call an assist from the weakest ally as long as they're HUD cartel, which of course is going to be either Mob Enforcer or Gam Guard. And weakest is defined in the game as the summation of health and protection at that instance when the event is triggered. So initially Mob Enforcer will be assisting, eventually though it will be Gam Guard as he is inevitably going to be hit as he's taunting. Alright, so there it is. That, that, that was it. Um, nothing really to it, no substantial challenges. Unlike some of the other Galactic Legend unlocks, this one is really, really easy. Here's my mods. Proof uh, is in the pudding, right? We got blue mods. Blue, purple, and max. I only got plus 68 speed there. Plus 68, that was it. And then on Mob Enforcer, plus 78 speed. I think it was 68. I could be wrong. And here's what I actually got. 30 speed, offense, potency, health on Mob Enforcer. Straight health primaries. And then on Gam Guard, we do have a speed arrow with crit chance, health, and protection. Um, but again, those are blue mods, low level, nothing, nothing really impressive. The worst part about this event is that all six attempts, they force you to watch the animation. Like, they are really, really proud of that animation. There's no skip, at least not, not on my phone there wasn't. So here, uh, I'm going to play out all six of my battles, just in case you want to see them, but I am going to speed up the next four, because it's a bit monotonous. So this one is at regular speed, the next four will be faster. But in this one, this is my second battle. Here, I tried doing basically nothing but basics on Jabba. So I, 
other than the opening trio moves. So Jabba's uh, first special to spread some buffs around, then Mob Enforcer throws a detonator, and then Gamgard taunts, and then after that, I'm just like, basic. Basic, basic. And see, again, Leia goes down. And one more time, you do want to go after Leia first, because Solo is blindo. He can't see anything, right? That was it. Check out how easy that is. All right, so four more events. I I'm not going to talk through them. I'm just going to hit fast forward. So this is two times normal speed, and you're welcome to watch it. But it's easy. Easy, easy, easy. So anyway, now I'm on to farming more Galactic Legend tickets, dark side tickets. As I get enough uh, to complete tier two, I will post that video, and you can follow along on my journey as I unlock Jabba the Hutt in preparation of Territory Battle 3 due out any day. Hope this video helped you. If so, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button down below. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all later. And you can look forward to some Jabba the Hutt GL action on this channel. All right, bye-bye.